Hello to all the followers of the channel Beyond the Observable Universe. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most beautiful and poetic celestial bodies, the stars, and examine these bodies from birth to the last moment of their life. Our sun is also, there is no exception to this, and in the rest of the video, we will definitely analyze the sun. If you are interested in this video, be sure to stay with us until the end, and to support us, like the video, and then subscribe to the channel. The birth of a star. The most beautiful and beautiful celestial bodies are nebulae, the dust left by the collision of two galaxies with each other, or the result of the explosion of a star. Nebulas are a collection of hydrogen elements and heavy elements that accumulate in one point due to the force of gravity over hundreds of thousands of years and form a protostar. It should be noted that the size of a nebula can reach several million light years and the nebula that caused the birth of our sun was hundreds of times the size of the solar system. Now that these elements have gathered at one point and created a protostar, there are two situations. Either they were successful enough in absorbing mass to create a star, or they did not succeed in absorbing enough mass and became a dwarf. Brown dwarfs will not succeed in nuclear fusion due to their low mass and will remain a gas giant until the end of the universe. Scientists guess that Jupiter is a brown dwarf and we are very lucky it didn't become a star for us to come into being. And it should be noted that there is one brown dwarf for every six stars in the universe. Now let's go to our newborn star, a star that has managed to gain enough mass to start nuclear fusion and shine. The size of these stars can be anything from 0.1 to 200 times the mass of the sun. The lifespan of these young stars has a direct relationship with their mass. That is, the more their mass, the higher their temperature, and therefore the rate of burning of their fuel increases. To understand this better, a star like the sun lives for about 10 billion years, but a star with a mass of about 200 times that of the sun lives for only 200 million years. After its useful life, which was directly related to its mass, the star has consumed all its hydrogen fuel and begins to cool. And the star begins to expand to compensate for the pressure and will become a red giant. For example, our sun. After completing its useful life, it will grow to the size of the solar system and swallow all the planets. Of course, I must say that there are still 5 billion years left in the useful life of the sun. What excites me so much is that some stars, after passing their useful life, their radii can be as large as several billion kilometers. And if you are interested in understanding these sizes better, the video that appeared on the top right is for you. Now, when our red giant becomes so big, it slowly becomes unstable and spreads all its dust around and forms a planetary nebula. It leaves a very beautiful and spectacular scene and finally a white dwarf. White dwarf stars are the remnants of old and extremely dense stars, so dense that one tablespoon of it has the mass of a 5.5 ton elephant. And the most interesting thing is the radius of these stars because they have the same mass as the sun and are the same size as the earth. White dwarfs are very useful for determining the age of the universe because scientists can determine how long this star is cooling and estimate the age of the universe with that. Now, the mother star has three states after passing this time and becoming a white dwarf, and we will explain these three states below. The first state is for the time when the mother star is almost the same mass as our sun, and the white dwarf turns into a black dwarf after tens or even billions of years of cooling and becomes invisible because its radiation becomes the same as the background radiation of the universe and no longer shines. Of course, I must say that no black dwarf has been seen yet, because the age of the universe is still much less than that for a black dwarf to be produced. And the second case is for the time when the mass of the mother star is much smaller than the mass of the sun and a red dwarf. Of course, it is also called M-type dwarf. The temperature of these stars is so low that they will continue to burn for tens of trillions of years and scientists guess that these objects are the last bright objects in the universe before disappearing into an eternal darkness. And the most common type of stars in the universe are the same type of stars that make up 70% of stars. Now we go to the most strange and mysterious state. The mass of the parent stars of these white dwarfs was several times or hundreds of times the mass of the sun. After they turn into white dwarfs due to their instability, they become the most powerful and largest explosion in the universe, the supernova explosion. This explosion is so powerful that it spreads particles around at a speed of 400,000 kilometers per second. But after this explosion, this mighty star still did not end its life. 
The remnants left from this explosion may become a neutron star, which is very, very dense. To understand the density of this star, suppose we shrink a star with twice the mass of the sun to the size of the city of Los Angeles, so that each cubic meter of the star has a mass of about 400 billion tons, or it may become a black hole. Black holes are so dense that even light cannot escape from their gravity, and the force of gravity is so great that it pulls all the surrounding space into itself. This mass can even bend space-time to infinity, so that around the black hole, time passes much slower, and inside the black hole, time almost stops. And if you fall into a black hole, the world will end in the blink of an eye. This black hole continues its life so much that at the end its mass will be completed, and it will disappear from the map of the universe forever. Thank you for watching our video until the end. Please subscribe to the channel to support us and share your opinions with us.